Hi, this is Mark for Ableton Daily, and on this video, I'm going to show you how to create laser effects using the operator instrument in Ableton Live. On the previous video, I showed you how to create laser effects using the analog instrument. So as promised, this video will be all about operator. First, make sure you have a MIDI track. Then go over to the Live Devices and expand the Instruments folder and drag in one instance of Operator. Creating the laser effect with Operator is fairly easy to do. First, make sure that you have the Pitch section turned on. So just go ahead and click here. Then we must adjust the Pitch Envelope Amount. So this knob right here, go ahead and turn this up to 100%. Over on the pitch envelope, pull the attack away from the initial point of the envelope. So here's your attack here, and the attack also has a peak adjustment. And then we have our initial point here, where we want this envelope to start. So for this tutorial, we're going to start with a very high initial peak. So it's going to be all the way at the top, and this is basically controlling semitones. So you can see here we're at plus 48 semitones. Now if we pull this all the way down, the sound is going to start at a very low octave note and then roll its way up. But for the laser, the laser starts off at a very high pitched sound and then works its way down very quickly. So in this case, we'll need to move this all the way up to the top. So we have plus 48 semitones. And the attack will allow us to adjust how long we want that initial laser sound to be. So you can play on the keyboard here and adjust the attack and just listen to the feedback. Now do you hear the sound moving back up? That's because we have a very high sustain here, so we need to pull the sustain down. It will sustain in pitch based on where I have this point here. Okay, sounds pretty good. I've noticed that we do have a little bit of a release on this envelope. It might be a good idea just to pull down this release all the way, and you can even chop off the timing of that release too. So let's go ahead and hear that back. Okay, and there's a little bit of a bump at the end of that sound. In this case, we'll need to adjust the envelope for oscillator A. So go ahead and activate oscillator A, and then bring down the sustain. Leave the release time the way it is right now. We'll come back to this later. Let's go back over to the pitch section. Go ahead and activate it. And now I'm going to adjust this envelope so I can get the exact sound that I'm looking for. Okay, that sounds pretty good for now. I'm going to move over to oscillator A and just adjust the sustain here a little bit. I'm trying to adjust the sustain so I can isolate just the beginning of the sound and I don't want any trailing notes or tones after the sound. Okay, so for the release, you can extend it, but you can also just eliminate it completely by clicking here and just dragging all the way down to one millisecond. And hopefully it'll still sound the same. If you have any other hums or low tones in the sound, believe it or not, extending the release may eliminate some of those. If the release is too fast, it might create a low frequency bump in the sound. Uh, so if you do hear that, then you can go ahead and extend the release, and that will roll off. 
Now, at any time, you would like to control how much pitch is going to be applied to this envelope. You can just come over here to the pitch envelope setting, and you can change this. Uh, I can take it down. Let's, let's make it 50%. So this way, your sound will start at only 50% of the pitch than what you had before. And you can almost create like a kick drum or something like that using this. Something like an 808 or some, uh, or maybe some acid beats or something like that. So that's pretty much the how-to on how to create this laser sound. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this pitch envelope all the way up to 100% pitch. And to make this a little bit more interesting, I'll go ahead and drag in a delay. So over on Audio Effects, I will grab this uh, filter delay and drag this in next to Operator. And let's go ahead and check this out. And if you really want to take people into outer space, you can adjust the overall timing for the operator instrument. And that's right down here in the master section. With this knob here, I can globally increase or decrease the timing for all the envelopes inside operator. And we can also make this a lot shorter by decreasing the timing of these envelopes. This is Mark for Ableton Daily. Hey, if you like my videos, please subscribe or check out my YouTube channel for other videos on music and sound design. Thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next one.